Hello everyone and welcome to another Hackolate tutorial. In this tutorial we're going to be talking to you about what we call ERD views, Entity Relationship Diagram Views, right? And this is a topic that's actually really interesting, it's a very short topic, but we'll, what we'll talk about here is how you can actually use ERDVs to make sure that specific parts of your model, you know, sometimes you have a really large model with lots and lots of entities and lots of relationships between those entities, well, how do you divide that up? How do you split that up into things like what we sometimes call subject areas or domain diagrams, right? Um, well, ERDVs are the tool to use for this. What we're going to be doing is we're going to be selecting selecting a subset of the entities of the main entity rela relationship diagram and split it up over multiple different ER diagram views so that you can better manage those really large models, right? So this will allow you to actually split up the model into domains, right? So by domain or by subject area. It's really great for this idea around domain-driven data modeling that we've been talking about quite a bit lately. Um, and, you know, this is uh, one of the tools that you can use for this, right? Um, entities can appear in multiple ERDVs, right? Also relationships, right? And you can make modifications in the ERDVs and they are immediately reflected across your different um, parts of your model. Um, and, you know, wherever you edit it, it will immediately be reflected in the UI. Um, another really cool feature is that you can actually configure different display options for every different ERDV. So you can have different uh, ways of looking at that uh, subject domain. You can create an ERDV from the actions menu, from the toolbar, or from the object browser, browser, but I'll show you this in a couple of seconds here. And then, of course, you can always edit this, right? So you can always edit how you can um, see which parts of your main ER diagram are part of specific um, domain-specific ER. Uh, the views, right? So um, let's dive right in and I'll show you a little bit of what this looks like. So what I have here is, you know, a very uh, modestly sized uh, relational uh, database diagram. It's a Postgres uh, database and you can see here there's different entities, right? So this is the DVD rental data set that I've been using quite a few times. Uh, well, you've got the rentals over here, you've got the staff, you've got the inventory, you've got the payments. Well, the first thing we'll do here is we will select a few of these entities, right? So hold down your uh, uh, control key and select multiple of these um, entities and then basically say, well, let's add them to a diagram view. Right. Now, I currently don't have any diagram views set up yet, so I'll create a new one. And you will see that here at the bottom of your object browser, all of a sudden, this uh, is now appearing. Right? I can play around with this. I can also um, make some, edit some edits here. Right? So here I have this property called nickname in the staff entity. Well, let me just remove that. I'm removing it from the ERDV that I've just created. Right? And if I now switch back to the main ERDV, then you will see that in the staff uh, entity over here, there's no longer a uh, nickname entity. If I add it back here and I call it a fancy nickname, right? A uh, new uh, property that I've just added here, and I switch back to the ERDV, and you will see that it is already there, right? So I can also um, add another one. I can add another ERDV. I, I'll go back into the DVD rental, and I'll say, okay, the inventory, rental, and staff, right? So not the payment, but the, those here I'm going to add to an ERDV, right? And I can create this inside the already existing new diagram view, or I can create another one, right, which I'm going to give a name, you know, just to not be too confusing, second new diagram view, right, uh, and now you can see them appearing here, right, so I've got the new diagram view over here, uh, maybe I'll just uh, rename that and say this is the first one, right, so I've got the first diagram view and I've got the second diagram view, um, and as you can see here in the second diagram view, I also have the nickname available, but I can now say, well, you know what, in this second diagram view, I'd like to have a little bit of a different uh, way of looking at things, so let me just get rid of all of those different attributes, right, and now switching between those diagram views and the main ER diagram, you will see that they look quite different. Right. I can also go and um, edit the membership of the um, uh, diagram view, right? So if I go over here, I can now say, well, uh, in the schema over here, right, there's 15 tables, but only three of them are in that second diagram view. Why don't, uh, why don't I add one here, the country, right? And that will now also show up here, and I can obviously restructure that so that it becomes a little bit more uh, lisable, right? So that's it. That's the overview that I wanted to give you.
So with that, I'm going to wrap up this tutorial and uh, highlight a few more reading materials. I've been highlighting these throughout our different tutorials, some great documentation, a great blog, fantastic new book um, that is about MongoDB data, mo data modeling. There's another one around Neo4j data modeling, um, and many of the concepts that you will find in there are applicable to lots of other uh, domains as well. With that, I'm going to wrap up. I'm going to wish you a wonderful rest of your day. Cheers.